Come on, man. Wait. Fuck. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, it's okay. the nigga first that fucked first. it up. Nick. You know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Clinical, reflective, you'll never know. Yeah, well, I mean, they're just kids. You know, they'll get over it. Uh-huh, like they'll get over Emma? What? That's not the same thing. Oh, so that's not why you're in a bad mood. I'm not in a bad... Oh, my. <laughs> you know what? We had her last night together, and we're cool. Oh, yeah. So cool that you're never going to see your special little boo-boo bear ever again. Jesus Christ, you heard that? Oh, come on, dude. The cabin walls are made of band-aids and rat turds. Okay, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> okay, quit it. That's a baby girl Hi, off hey. of Sweet Life. Another, a, another Sweet okay, Life actor is, um, in one of these games. You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Yes, boss. Ooh, ooh, she Say got... hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. Emma, where you at? You got cake. Not Emma, but uh, what's baby girl name? I don't know. Bro. Was that chained up? That's a dude down there. Where am I at, yo? Jesus Christ. Why is the door locked? Hi. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's... Dylan, come it's on. Broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's, I gotta get the last bags what's in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just Dylan, closing. please. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Lazy cool, ass. Agus Quarry Summer Camp was established way back in 1953 and still going strong today, nearly 70 years on. So the thing we need to figure out, right? Because I want to put it together without getting nobody bodied. Have they been doing this long? Have they been camp counselors for a long time? And have they experienced anything? I don't want to leave a place like this. It's like goddamn Bob Ross. Right, man. Put the Bob Ross in, right? Put the Bob Ross in. Why are these chairs and shit still right here? Oh, skill. Every little detail. Horror. I hate horror. Horror is that bag, though. That's the bag. What you talking about? You hate horror. That's. This music is fire. 
even though this is a, this is in streamer mode this this shit still fire okay whoa, 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 whoa. what's over here nothing okay Emma, where the hell you at? Why are the stairs like this? Why is it benches and shit all on the stairs? Oh, explanation? <clears throat> I never found Emma. Okay. Jeez. All right, got the bags. Great, all by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my God, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? What about you? Mind your own business, playful. Oh, okay. So now I'm the one who's not telling the whole story, huh? <laughs> oh, well, this is the bait I just got to take, Jake. Oh. oh, sorry. I just got so distracted about that rhyme. I forgot what we oh, were. Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, you, you were telling me how you totally have a thing for Ryan. Wait, are we talking about Ryan, the sailing instructor with the sexy brooding loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all? Sexy. Ah, oh, sexy, huh? How does that camp by far? Okay, sure. Uh, look, it was all settled by the girls in bunk seven, like second day of camp. It goes Ryan, me of course, then Dylan, Emma, Abby. Okay. Nick, and then Mr. H, and... Okay, are you almost finished? Please. Yep, that's it. That's everyone. <laughs> he put you at nothing. So she really just dumped her ass, huh? I don't, okay. Her whole thing. Is like, how are we gonna make this work? Different schools, blah, blah, blah. My whole thing is like, you know, maybe long distance, blah, 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 blah. And she was just like, Jacob. She gave you the look, huh? Yeah, do not pass go. Man, she just got you wrapped all the way around that dainty little finger of hers. How does she do it? <laughs> Defeat it, maybe I like it. It's just a flame. No, oh, but I mean, seriously, come on, she's right. It's just like a stupid summer fling. What else did I think was going to happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair, kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, emptiness, retirement, grandkid, 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 a uh, nursing home, and finally, Death. dying in each other's arms, and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. Damn. Is that kind of in the ballpark? Oh, shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all-men list. Oh, that seems legit. <laughs> Okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, if it doesn't kill you, we'll make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. Oh, wait. <clears throat> this set premonition. Uh, okay, so, um... Total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake. You do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. What you... I guess we'll just have to find out. <sighs> what? Steel rotary arm, break through... Steel ro... What? What options is these? Nigga, we already know the plot. I'm not trying to, uh, uh, 
No, I don't want to break the fuel line. I don't want to. I just want to steal the rotary arm. You break the fuel. You break the fuel line, nigga. Come on with me, buddy. I'll put you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. You break the fuel line, you can't break the, uh, you got it. Like it's a whole new part. Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please, d d d don't. Long. Oh, Nick. Bro. Boom. Oh. oh. There it is. Oh, Ooh. man, good sight. Ooh. Freak. Oh. <laughs> oh. I wish I had some singles. Ooh. Freaks. <laughs> surrounded by freaks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <gasps> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped <laughs> an emergency? Oh, Ben. Annoy, back off, dipshit, friendly. Uh, okay, well, at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn, now we burn. Yeah, well, maybe not everyone is looking for a hookup. Okay, okay, okay let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? Where's everybody else? Why? He... Why Why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any cheeky ones. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. Bro, ain't nobody trying to stay here for another night. Why did he take that shit? I, because he he don't know what's going on, right? Who been to summer camp? I never been to this shit like this. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh. Oh, too slow. Really? Oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Ooh. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Uh... Are you serious? That's called breaking and entering. No, that's called retrieving our lawfully owned possessions. Why don't we just find Mr. Hackett and have him open it back up? Abby, come on. Our stuff is like three feet away. Mm, sorry. No. As soon as we get back to the lodge, we'll find Mr. Hackett and have him help us get our bags. Fine. Emma. Okay, well... That's well, Emma. Okay. Fine. I'm just gonna do a quick sweep then to make sure we didn't forget anything. Knock yourself out. She got a chain, an actual chain with a lock on it. Emma thinks you're overreacting. <laughs> well, we gotta break into this. We can ask... Fuck them bags. And we playing with Modern Family, Alex. We playing with Alex right now. What up, man? I watch Modern Family. Salute. One of the best comedy shows of all time. Is that a crow? Let's go up in here. Ooh, okay. Okay, she got the stockings on. Okay. <laughs> Those shoes, she got hush puppies on. The oh, hushies. Weird, not waking up to Dylan's morning announcement. Wait, what? Did I miss something? 
I wasn't paying attention. I was looking, I was looking at her and I looking at then I looked at the bird, but was it something in the window? Why I make that sound? They got like a, a see the thing about it is they don't do no introductions. You know how Until Dawn did an introduction uh with like um telling you what the person was, their characteristics and stuff like that. It don't tell you shit. Like can you go in any of these rooms? Like this shit is open as hell. Can we go into one of these cabins? I'm gonna check this one real quick. It would be no point to check it, but just to check it. This game is this game look good, man. You know you gotta say it. I I gotta say it. You gonna get on the swing? Oh, it make a sound too. God damn. Jacob plus Emma for for Ouch. summer. So Jacob hasn't seen this. Em <sighs> Hold on, empty veil. An empty veil with a uh, unpleasant odor. Okay. <laughs> Is it Dylan's? Ugh. Some weed. He got that, uh. He got that smoking on the dead homies. No, I'm st <laughs> Uh, pool. What are we doing? How you walk faster? What's the walk faster? I can't remember. Oh, it's L1. Can't go in here. Oh, but you can just walk around this month. Oh, it's a chain on here. I'm gonna probably have to like play this. Oh, there she go right there. I'm gonna have to play this again so I can listen to the music on my own time or just, you know, just to play it again, probably on, uh, Twitch or something like that because I got a Twitch. It's already link is in the description or on the channel. You got to go to the actual channel and shit. I don't know. Oh, she got a little go kart. Ready to roll? I didn't find That's nothing good. else. Finally. Maybe that was that little part I needed to see the the sign with uh. Time to let loose and the moose. This Jacob and loose. Emma. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No, <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what, you and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. A Wi-Fi, bro. Oh. Uh, oh. Eyes on the road, lady. Sorry, sorry. Bro, sorry. I'm going to get somebody killed, bro. Is okay, it? so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. It's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. Why don't you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the package they gave to us on the first day. <laughs> email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. Abby, okay. We're getting these names down. Oh, hold up. Oh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route. 
One last victory lap around the camp. Nigga. Back to Lodge. Scenic route. Nigga, I want to go back to the Lodge, yo. <laughs> I'm trying to keep niggas alive. We should really get back. Boo. Thumbs down. Everyone's waiting for us. Nick isn't going to leave without saying goodbye. Shit, Abby! Oh. That's She's the like, little shit that they put cool, in. Dude. My girl here is on her way to ask a guy out for the first time like ever. Emma! <laughs> Couldn't let her squirrel out of it. I am going to throw you out of the cart. Who deserved that? This shit is crazy. So Abby, Emma, Jacob, Dylan. Damn, I'm trying to figure these names out. Where the black dude at? <laughs> Where Don't worry, at? Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas. So, oh fuck me. <laughs> oh idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here, anyways, dude. Okay, this place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy. What? No. It's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before. Why are you asking? Uh, ew. Balls. <laughs> hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Where are your bags? Mr. H locked them in the cabin already. <laughs> Why? To keep out bears? Apparently. Bears can be a problem. Why didn't you break in? Yeah, bears can be bad news, especially if you've been, you know, trying out their variably heated oatmeals. I really don't think there are any bears. I tried to get the bags, but someone was all, wouldn't that make us criminals who deserve to be in jail? You're paraphrasing, but yes, it would. <laughs> mm, I don't think Mr. H would have been too happy to see his cabins vandalized. Thank you. <laughs> Mm. Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh, yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little oh, meat party? Uh, I, was, <laughs> I was totally, totally podcast, forgot. Actually. <laughs> oh, podcast. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? Protective mind. Yeah, what's it about? Is it about me? think I was listening to a podcast about you. Okay, if anyone here had a podcast about them, it'd be me. Yeah, if there was a podcast called How to Look and Smell Like a Butt. Oh my god, you are so childish. At least I don't look and smell like a butt. No, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. Th this episode was actually about this place, weirdly enough. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. The who of the what's it where now? What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking, dumbass? <laughs> Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Hey, you don't uh, know either. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's uh, Quarry. Uh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. <laughs> cool story, bro. Supportive, defensive, better than yours. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for life. <laughs> you got to be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, I'm nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. 
Get those butts in gear. Coulda woulda if our bags weren't locked up. What's that? Sounded like you said, of course, Mr. H. We're on it, Mr. H. Sorry, Mr. Hackett, but our, our bags... Right. Cabin. <laughs> We're really busting our butts here. Well, except Ryan, who's trying to scare the pants off our butts with his weird ghost stories. Okay. Okay. Enough with all the butts. And, and what's this about the, ghost the stories? H of H's Q. The Hag of Hackett's quarry. I was just... <sighs> For Pete's sake, Ryan. Do we come on? Hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, tah, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Annoy, no fair. Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm not trying to cash no animosity. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Wait, 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 what? 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 He called him Chris. Hold that thought, partner. I'm going to have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello? Listen to pod... Listen to podcasts... Because kids, kids are kids. I can only do so much or that. They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have... Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know what? I know it. So they... L no, should I have? He's gone Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah, of course. Adios. So they're looking for somebody. Okay. Sorry, I, I wasn't. I wasn't listening. I, I was just like waiting. Like I mean, I heard. I. Uh, I mean, I was. I didn't hear what you were. Saying. We're cool, champ. Just. Come on in. Sorry I pushed you out like that. It works like a movie script. He's probably going to feel a certain way right now, but Are later on, we know so. Looking for the keys? Uh, no. End of summer. Busy, busy. Mm. So, anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, a, whether or not I should, like leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus, you know. My mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. Dang it. Is... Everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. Feeling new. <laughs> you gonna tell me? Come on, man. You gonna open Ryan, up to I told me, you do we? Sure everyone was ready. What happened? They don't really listen to me. Then you gotta make them listen, bud. I can. I mean, shoot, no time to get their bags now. For real? I don't think the girls are gonna like that. We'll ship them along in a few days. So, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, with these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. 
I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories. Indifferent. It was just a little fun. Apologetic. Sorry. I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Got to understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Now for the sun. No. Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Just give me a minute. Uh, you can't keep it a beam, Dewey. Shit. Where in the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrap yard during the off season and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really teenagers, am I right? I actually could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left them. Uh -huh. Very forgetful. Let's skedaddle. This shit ain't important. Let's end the, let's end the game right here. This nigga, uh, uh, this nigga, what's that nigga name, man? Make sure they're all ready to go for real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You sure to turned it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. <laughs> I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. Hey, what about our bags? Uh, Emma, I'm going to have to ship them to you tomorrow. Hell no, thing. no. I am not leaving without... It's the way it's got to be. Come on, Jacob. Start her up. What's the problem? Oh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing well, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough, enough, both of you. Shit, come on, all right, come dude, on. Chill, Bro. chill, dude. <laughs> Damn it! I thought I told you kids to check everything. No, we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! I mean, later down the road, it should be okay. 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 Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Dog, who put they, they earbuds through their shirt? Ah! <sighs> okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right.
Hey, Ron. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Hell yeah! Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. So, what was that about? Yeah. Uh said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or, or we could do something else. No. No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of Tell course. Him. Who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. Tell him about the, the conversation. P-A-R-T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout oh, for all time. Being, uh, I gotta be that oh, guy. Dude, fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. I'm Dylan's not in. in. Obviously. I'm not in. in. Caitlin? Oh. I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Tell him about the conversation. I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Bro, I'm good, bro. Dude, he won't even know. I promised. Uh, no, 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 dude, dude. It's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you uh, you don't want to disappoint daddy. Wow. Someone's got to give a shit. Dismissive. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh, I'm doing oh I didn't mean to say it. Ryan, come on, man. Wait. Fuck. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, it's okay. The nigga first that fucked first. it up. Nick and Abby, <laughs> you go get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this. All right, let's do this. You did this for a broad. I just learned from Tomb Raider. Stop doing shit for the buns. You goofy. What is this? That's dog from Aliens. Who, why are you covering in blood?
hunting season. Okay, so look, 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 look. You remember how on Until Dawn, old dude, old dude was looking for, for the, for the. I was for, hoping you'd come I, back to me. Go ahead. Let's see what you found. Empty-handed. You need to look around you, find my cards, and I can help you. Where I'm from, we look out for each other. Find them, please. All right. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. Bro, what? I, bro, what?